A big concern for many people when they're telling stories, when they're the guide and they're trying to sell their services is, Michael, I don't want to come across like I'm bragging. I understand that. We've all heard the braggadocious speaker or salesperson who comes across as pretty annoying as if they're God's gift to the earth. Right? You know the kind I'm talking about, right? How do you brag about yourself without bragging? It's very simple, actually. You use dialogue. In your story, let your client talk about the great success and how their lives are better because of the work you've done for them. So for example, I could say that my, when I met my client, Patty, she was really stressed out, struggling to give a speech. She couldn't sleep at night. She was getting sick. But by the time I got done working with her, she was confident and happy and looking forward to speaking. Not real appealing. In dialogue, what I do is I recount a story that happened actually, actually happened over lunch where she said, Michael, I can't thank you enough for the work we've done together. I mean, when we met, you know how I was. I was stressed out. I wasn't sleeping. I was getting sick. And now I can't wait to speak. I love speaking because I know how to do it. And we're getting more uh, money donations coming in, people donating their time. Thank you so much for the work we did. Isn't that a more appealing way to promote yourself? Let your client do it through dialogue. In the next tip, you're going to hear when you should introduce your guide or the solution to the problem into your story. Talk with you then.